All right, I hope you have your costumes already ready. Mine was very last minute, so I had to bring in <laughs> Rosalind Moak, makeup, makeup artist extraordinaire, because she does a lot of fantastic Halloween looks. Um, so I ran across this jacket. We're gonna show you uh, in a minute when she's done with my face, but I ran across this jacket thrifting mm -hmm. that inspired me to do Black Swan this year. It's one of my favorite times of year, by the way. So tell us a little bit about what you're doing so far, because she's gonna give me the whole look. I'm <laughs> gonna look pretty, pretty fly. It will say fly for Black Swan. So tell us what you've done so far. So basically what I've just done is just take some cream foundation and I'm just marking out where the outline of where I want to go on her eyes because her eyes are going to be the statement piece of her look. So we're going to black out her eyes and add some little details in there to make it real swanish. Okay, okay. And do you feel like this? <laughs> We've got. <laughs> I know why there are ruffles. <laughs> that's our that, that's our treat for this and coffee. This is how we survive in the morning. But yes, yeah, so do you feel like this is something fairly simple that people can replicate at home? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you can go to Spirit of Halloween at the store and just buy like little black um, cream foundation or cream paint and just blacken out the eyes and darken it. You can get as detailed as you want or mm. do less, but you will get your look that you're achieving. Yes, I like where we're going with this so far. All right, well, while you continue to work, um, <laughs> let's talk about some of your other looks that you've done. I mean, what are some tips for people who are at home, like trying to figure out how they're gonna do their makeup for tonight? I would say research the look that you wanna kinda like go for and kind of like practice and I would say like if you want to use like the paint and stuff like that, you can use the paint. You don't have to get no expensive brushes. You don't have to get expensive um, sponges and stuff like that. Got this from uh, these brushes from Michaels. Okay. So you can use whatever you want to use to do your looks. Mm, and you've got some crazy looks right there. I know yeah. <laughs> that's the a lot more than paint, but yes. very cool stuff. So when you say like using paints, is there a recommended um, recommended ingredients or anything that you usually look for? Because we don't necessarily want people like just getting Crayolas, right? And right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so if anything, I do recommend Makeup Forever, their flash palette, which has like a whole bunch of colors in there that you can use and you can mix and match and you can play around with colors, which makes it very easy for someone who is doesn't normally play in makeup, but you can create and stuff like that versus kind of like buying stuff at um, the art store and don't know what colors to match and match. Mm, okay, I got you. Mm -hmm. All right, okay, I like how this one's coming along. All right, so uh, when it comes to budget, do what, what would you say people can expect to spend if they're trying to do one, like a full face? Or can, or can they just, you know, <laughs> save some bucks? <laughs> you got any tips for that? They can save some bucks if they want something that's more um, beginner friendly. Mm -hmm. But when you start talking about like prosthetics and you talk about adding stuff to it, that's where the price really goes up because prosthetics are very expensive. And then plus you have to buy more materials to add the prosthetics. So prosthetics are kind of like on the pricey side. Okay. But if you just want to like play and paint, you know, do a clown face, something like that simple, it's very budget friendly. Okay, all right, so mm -hmm. maybe save the prosthetics for next like, year if, you, <laughs> if you're yeah. a beginner this year. Yeah. Okay, all right, <laughs> Rosalind Mock, tell people where to find you real quick. Um, I can be found on Instagram, uh, Makeup by Rosalind. Also on TikTok, and Makeup by Rosalind. Facebook, Makeup by Rosalind. I'm very easy to find. Okay, check it out. <laughs> check out her Halloween stuff, cool stuff on there. All right, she's gonna fish, finish me up. All right, we'll take a break. <laughs>